Hey guys, I think the biggest feature missing from my ballast scissors right now is heat treated blades. So even though I have a new design, I thought I should make a couple more blades with the fixture I already have just to make sure I can do it. This is S30V. I'm not sure if this steel makes sense to use for scissors, but it was one of the only stainless blade steels I knew about when I bought it a long time ago. I've gotten many suggestions, and I'm welcome to more. I start by facing the stock. I didn't have to do that with the test pieces, but this S30V is more oversized. I still need a surface grinder to get them to size, or find someone to do it for me. The rest of the process is the same. The sound from the cutting was slightly different, which makes me think that it is harder to cut, but the load on the machine was fine. The next step is to wrap the blades in foil. This will help reduce how much oxygen is absorbed into the steel, which would weaken it. I'm just guessing the size of piece I need. I'm not sure the best way to do this, and I cut myself. Okay, let's try again. This is stainless steel foil, not aluminum foil. It's very sharp. I folded it over multiple times and tried to get a good seal with this little hammerhead tool I have. I think I chose too small of a piece for the amount of folds I tried to do. I cut a bigger piece for the other blade. This little roller worked pretty well. They aren't pretty, but now I can put them in the oven. Or maybe I shouldn't have. The instructions for hardening this steel say to heat to 1600, but it says preheat. I don't know if this is like cooking where you're supposed to preheat the oven, or if I'm supposed to be preheating the steel. Then it says equalize. Even though I let them heat up all the way to 1600, I decided to hold them for 15 minutes just to make sure the steel has evenly reached the right temperature, which is what I think equalize means. I then heat up to 2000 degrees. Then I hold for 30 minutes. I was a bit nervous, so I got an extra hand from my brother. This is air hardening steel. I am pressing the blade between two blocks of aluminum, which should help suck the heat out of the blade. I wasn't sure how long it would take. Eventually, I had my brother check the temperature with a laser thermometer to see if we were making any progress. I was able to go from 2000 degrees to room temperature in around 3 minutes. That seems fast to me, but for a quench, it probably should be even faster. Next, I had to do the second blade. Same process. I didn't burn myself, so I'll say this was a success. But now the blades might be too brittle, so I have to temper them. I let them heat up to 600 degrees and then held for 2 hours. And again, I'm not sure if I could have put them in at 600 and then held for 2 hours, or if I have to let them heat up slowly. After 2 hours, I let them slowly cool to room temperature. When it feels safe, I open the door so they cool a little faster. I do this tempering stage twice. Okay, after all those hours, we can see if it worked. The bags are very dark and crusty. Let's hope the blades don't look the same way. It actually doesn't look that bad. There's definitely oxidation, as you can tell by these cool colors. It's not as bad as my Alpha Beast experiment, though. Let's open the other one. Hmm. It's very similar. I wonder if there's a reason it seems worse at the point. But are they hardened? I don't have a hardness tester, but I do have these files. Each file is a different hardness. They're all harder than this piece of mild steel. We know this because they all scratch the steel. But depending on how hard my blades are, some of them won't be able to leave a scratch. And at first I was worried. It seemed like they were all creating scratches. But I realized I was probably just scratching a layer of scale. So I tried to get rid of some of the scale and try again. I went through the files and luckily most of them just skate across the material. 
it seems like it's somewhere between 55 and 60 Rockwell C. Which is probably just right, or maybe a little softer than I want. Now, I'm worrying about how I'm going to get rid of all this scale. I'm not sure what would work. Tumbling? Sandblasting? Acids? I don't want to mess up the tolerances. Luckily, I can still put my pins through the holes, despite the heating and scale. The center hole is tight though. Now that it's hard, I can try sharpening it. I set up this grizzly grinder I have. I got the grinder probably like 8 years ago. I was trying to get into knife making, but I got busy with other things, and a little frustrated with the grinder. As you know, I'm not the biggest fan of grinding and sanding. That's why I wanted to cut the bevels in the mill, but I think I'll have to do some hand work for the final edge. I think I need a fairly steep angle for scissors. These scissors are like 70 degrees on one blade and 45 on the other. I thought maybe 45 degrees would be a good middle ground to start at. The platen on this grinder isn't very good for this. Or maybe in general. Here we go. Eh, that doesn't look so bad. I'm trying to make sure the edge is even. This is a 220 grit belt. I'm trying to be gentle. This grinder has only one speed. Fast. I'm also trying to make sure that I've actually cut to a sharp edge. I expected to see more sparks, and I thought that would help me tell when I've reached the edge. It seems like I got a burr on the bottom, so I decided to move on. I was braver with the second blade, so it went a lot faster. They seem sharp, so I decided to go straight to the stropping wheel next. This is a leather wheel that I put rouge on. I'm not really sure what I'm doing. I was just trying to make sure that there was no burr on both sides. I could see the blade getting more polished in some areas, but it was also getting smudged in others. I was trying to make sure I wasn't dulling the blade, and I cut myself. Okay, let's call that one sharp and try the next one. Looks good, I guess? Let's see how it works. First, let's cut some paper with the blades I have now. They do cut, but of course it doesn't leave a very clean cut. Now I'll switch to the hard and sharp blades. I was able to press the center pin into one of the blades, but when I put them together it was very stiff. So I tried running a reamer through it to loosen it. It definitely helped, but I realized that wasn't the only problem. For some reason, the magnetic field is absorbing into the steel more, causing the blades to stick together instead of the magnets repelling each other apart. This is very surprising. Part of the reason I got the S30V is because I wanted something stainless. I didn't expect the stainless to be more magnetic than my mild steel test. I don't know what's going on. If anyone can explain this, let me know. I can still cut paper though. I do think there's some improvement in the quality of cut, but I knew to keep my expectations low. The real problem is this gap. I need to figure out how to put that bend into the blades that other scissors have. I think that's more important than how sharp they are or the angle of the edge. Depending on what I think people are going to be cutting, I might not even want them to be super sharp. Or I might want serrations. I have no idea how I'd do that. <sighs> There's lots of things to figure out. I could do a lot of things better, but I just want to do something quickly while I wait for things to be water jet cut. I actually also tried a completely different approach to making blades. But I'm trying to limit how much I put into one video. So subscribe for that, let me know if you know anything about steels. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.